two things that are going to be really important in this whole unit parallel lines having the same slope and perpendicular lines having negative reciprocal slope which means you flip the fraction and change the side of the fraction we're going to have to know these two things you're going to later in the unit you're going to have to um, answer questions where you're finding the equations of lines and they're going to be parallel and perpendicular consistently so we're going to have to know this um, for having the same slope, it literally means they have the same slope. Okay, like if one's two thirds, the other one's two thirds. Now, it could be where there, where one of them is, you know, four sixths. And then you have to realize that that reduces to two thirds. It could be something like that, um, but they have to be exactly the same. So if it was two thirds and negative two thirds, those are not parallel because they're not the same. For perpendicular, it can be a little bit trickier because you have to write a flip the fraction over and change the sign. So the example I gave you here is three fourths. And when you flip that over, you get four thirds. You don't change both signs, like the number signs, you change the fraction sign. So three fourths and negative four thirds. If you had negative two fifths, it would become flip the fraction and then change the sign. This one's negative, this one's positive. So it would be like that right there. There's another little um, video below this one that talks just about a couple of fraction things that we have to remember. Um, I would suggest taking a look at it to make sure that we're completely up to speed before we start playing around with any of this stuff. 